Hello guys, welcome back to your lineup. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you how to set up conversion API for Shopify. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So the conversion API or in this case CAPI for Shopify is essential because it ensures your store can reliably track important events like purchases and add to carts. Now, in this case, even when your browser tracking fails due to app blockers, privacy updates, or mobile app usage, unlike the traditional Facebook pixel that relies on browser data here, uh, Capi sends event data directly from your server to platforms like Facebook, making your tracking uh, tracking more accurate. So this leads to better uh, better ad optimization, improved targeting, and ultimately higher turn and ad spend. So this case also gives you more control over your data and helps future proof uh, your store against changes in online privacy and cookie usage. So how do we exactly set it up? So in this case, first things first is we want to go ahead and access a few things. So in this case, you want to go ahead and open up uh, Facebook here and open up your, uh, in this case, your business uh, account. So business.facebook.com. Just go ahead and access that and log in to your account. Once you've done that, you want to go to the left side here, click on settings, and you want to go to the left panel here, and you want to look for something very specific, which is going to be data sources. Go ahead and click on it. Now, you want to go to data sets and pixel, and you want to go and just create a data set here that you be one to use. So click on add at the top right here, and you go and just basically uh, create uh, your uh, data set. You could go and click on create new data set here, like okay, connect an existing one if you want to. But yeah, so once you've created your data set here, we are now ready to set this up on uh, Shopify. So what we need to do next is we want to install the official app for this one. So we want to go to settings at the very bottom left here of your screen. And you want to go to uh, apps and sales channel at the left side here. You want to click on Shopify app store at the top right. Now from here at the very top, you have search. Just type in meta, press enter. Should see Facebook and Instagram here. Just go ahead and click on it. Click on install. It's going to ask you if you really want to install this one. Just confirm it by clicking on the install button that you should be able to see at the bottom right here. So it might take a while to appear, but let's go and click on install. And once you hit on install here, you should be able to uh, do other things. Now, from here, it's going to say uh, connect the Facebook account you use for your business. You can go and click on connect account here. For now, let's go and click on cancel. So you could also like, pin this on your navigation just in case you want to access it later on. But from here, the great thing about this app here on uh, for your Facebook and Instagram here, this allows you to set up your th uh, things here or set up the connection very easy if you're going to ask me. But yeah, let's go and click on get started here. Now first, it's going to say Facebook account. So you want to go and just click on uh, the connect account option here. And it's going to ask you to log in into your account. So just provide your email or phone number and your password as well. And just click on log in here. Let's go ahead and just do that in here. And once you've logged in, it might ask you for, for some approval here. So let's just access our phone and basically provide the approval here. And once you've actually approved uh, the approval here, it should redirect you. So let's, let's go answer yes, it's me on my phone. And once you've actually approved this one, let's go and click on finish. So yeah, so it's going to ask you, like if you want to trust this device, you can go and click on trust this device. So let's go and click on trust this device. And from here, it's just going to ask if you want to allow Shopify to access your account. Let's go and click continue as our name or as that account. And from here, our account has now been connected. Now, next is you want to set up your business portfolio. Now, there are going to be uh, some uh, accounts that you can access here. So if you if you have a catalog uh, for your products, connect the business portfolio that you that owns it. So you'll be able to manage how to advertise the products later on. So in this case, you want to go ahead and maybe uh, go back in here. So if you have like multiple business portfolios here, I would recommend you to first uh, maybe uh, create one that actually contains one. But you can go and just visit this one. Like uh, maybe I want to connect this my account here. Choose this one. You can go and click on connect. And once you've connected your business before you here, it's going to ask you some details about the account. Again, I would really recommend you to first set up your business portfolio here if you haven't. So by default, you should have one and that should contain your Facebook page here. If you, if, you, if not, let's go back here. It's going to ask you uh, if you want to share data here. You could go enable or disable that. And also, you could basically uh, 
choose your sharing preference. Now you have conservative, enhance, and maximum. The conservative here is the least amount or the uh, 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 the least amount of information or least amount of information that you are sharing. Uh, your preference here. So you have enhance, which is the uh, default one. Maximum here is if you want to really share like information for this one. So if you want to view more details, you're going to click on view more details here and see uh, how things are shared. So in this case, what are being shared. So yeah, so maybe I want to say enhance here. This is just uh, the default one. And uh, yeah, let's go and click on save. Now this, uh, by the way, if you want to read further into this one, you can read like useful Facebook resources and also your privacy policies here. Well, let's go and click on save. And once we've done that, it's now going to ask you to basically add a data set here. So that's why I ask you to first set up your data set so you don't have to return here. Uh, uh, you don't have to switch to different accounts. But yeah, so you can go and choose a data set here that you may want to use. You can also create one here, but I recommend you to uh, do that in your fa uh, Facebook account first. Uh, it's kind of buggy in here. But yeah, let's go and click on one of them. Like for example, maybe I want to use like this sample data set here I just created. Let's go and click connect. It's going to ask you terms and conditions. So you need to accept Meta's product catalog terms and set up ads on Facebook and Instagram. So you could go and click on product catalog terms here if you want to read further in it. But let's go and click on I agree. Click on submit for review. So it's now going to be submitted for review. This might take a while, but typically it's going to say finalizing channel setup. So this might take several minutes and do not refresh the page. So this is just to guarantee that the setup is going to be completed and you can basically run ads on Facebook and Instagram once this is actually been completed. And you have the you can also make your products available to Facebook and Instagram as well. You can publish them via this way. But to be speaking, once it's actually done, it should uh, uh, establish the connection between your Facebook or Facebook page and your Shopify store here. Now, once the connection has been completed, as you can see, you can start creating your ads here. You can also start setting on Facebook on, and Instagram as well. Now, you can also have the connected catalog here if you want to see the Shopify product uh, product catalogs here. So the eye for it. And if you, if you want to go to settings here, so just in case, if you want to change a few things, like for example, your shared data, uh, behavior, uh, your behavior here, or what uh, the uh, data set you've connected here, and also the catalog here. You can, obviously, you could disconnect it via this way as well. But yeah, so those are the basics here, how to set up uh, the connection. But uh, yeah, it's fairly easy. Just make sure that you set up the, your uh, account first, your data set before installing this one. But that's about it. So yeah, just be wary on uh, the connection. Sometimes they would, uh, this would actually fail. So I actually have that happen to me. So if that's the case, just uh, this case, you want to disconnect it, disconnect it from uh, your data, uh, data set or pixel here. And you may want to also uninstall the app and reinstall again and see if that works. So yeah, hopefully this video is able to help you like and subscribe to your app. Thank you for watching.